Well, Daryl, first things first, a uh, first match day in charge of uh, Bristol Rovers. I'd imagine a, bit, a big smile on your face. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, we had a good day on the training ground yesterday. Obviously, told the players what, what I expect. You know, obviously, they've worked with me for the last eight, nine months, but it's, uh, it's in a different capacity now. So, uh, now I'm really looking forward to the challenge, yeah. Okay, so I guess first things first, your, your, your initial team news, what have you worked, what have you done with the side? Yeah, I've, ch I've changed one or two things around uh, for different reasons. I've gone, I've gone a 4 4 2, uh, which I don't mind saying. And, uh, you know, I've left Tom Parks out. Uh, might be a strange decision to, to a few, but I, I feel like he needs a rest. He hasn't been his, you know, Tom's a, Tom's a great lad, but I think he needs a little bit of a break. He's, uh, you know, he hasn't been on the form that I've seen him in early parts of the season. I, I chose to put Danny Woodard and, and Mark McChrystal as my two centre half, uh, with uh, Macca taking over the captaincy with uh, Smudge and Brownie as my full backs. And then the uh, midfield four, I've gone with Tom and Ollie Clark, and then uh, and I brought Alfie, young Alfie, into the team as a uh, as a right winger and uh, Mohamed on the left with uh, Beardsley and Clarkson top as a two. So yeah, I've changed it around a little bit. So uh, I think it needs that. I think it's important that you know we get on the front foot today and have a real good go. And, and is it important for you to sort of uh, to set out your style the way you want to be as Rovers manager? Uh, listen, I'm not going to change it in a in a day or so. You know, I've, I've been assisting John on what John wanted me to do, and I'm just chucking one or two ideas. But now I'm doing it myself. And it ain't gonna, it ain't going to change overnight. You know, I'm trying to set my stall out early doors and obviously it takes a lot of work on the training pitch to get what hour I want the boys to be playing but we, we've done a bit of shape work yesterday we, we've set it all up and we're ready to go and I guess because of that and out wing I think a lot of fans who want to see a few more goals will be very happy about that well you know if, if that pleases the fans great but at the end of the day football results please the fans winning football matches please the fans so you know I, I can't feel like I'm positive team lineup to, to take it to the opposition. I like to think, you know, for the remaining eight games, we're going to be positive and have a right good go and make sure we secure league status. And obviously you're not new to, to management, but is it is it different? Does it feel different in, in league football as opposed to the conference? Listen, now, you know, even even managing Salisbury, which was a full-time team as well, it was, you know, you repay your team. You know, it's not like I haven't been here before, but obviously Bristol Rose is a lot bigger football club and, you know, I'm mean, privileged and honoured to manage the football club, privileged to be given the opportunity and I, I'm looking to grab it with both hands. Obviously, you were hoping to, to get it, I think, when you were, when you came in and it was a, a case of sort of being groomed or getting your time and getting your feet into the table a little bit. Eight games to go, a few people are raising eyebrows about that. Does it put a bit more pressure on you? Listen, you know, the matter, but there'd be no more than the pressure that I put on myself. But that's that's the way I am. You know, I live, sleep, and dream, think about football all the time. So that's that's the way I am. So yeah, you can say there's pressure, but there's not pressure on every manager. You know, the pressure is to win football results, and whether it's me or somebody else, game in a way, it's still pressure to win football matches. And, you know, and, and I'm I'm, really, I'm going to relish the challenge, whatever. And I'm sure the supporters have been absolutely fantastic all season. And I'm sure they'll continue to get behind us this afternoon. <laughs>